Hi children hope you're all safe and secure at home I'm very happy to share this interesting video I think you will definitely enjoy watching it in this session we going to learn multiplication and let me tell multiplication is one of the coolest things you ever learn and you know what children it looks like you'll have your own magic show okay suppose you have few of something with little more multiplication you can have many more are you eager to know this magic children okay come on let's learn now do you know what multiplication is all about multiplication is quick and powerful way of adding the same number over and over again when you certainly learn to multiply now let me show how multiplication works here children one thing we have to remember you know what i'm going to tell you now very very important five points in multiplication the very first point is repeated addition is called multiplication we're doing the repeated addition right for an example 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 so that repeated addition that is what is called a multiplication second point is the sign for multiplication is into sign the cross into sign any number multiply by 0 is 0 you know it very well any number multiply by 0 is 0 any number multiply by 1 the answer is the same number okay the answer is the same number and the fifth point is the answer in multiplication is called the product the answer what you get in multiplication is called the product these are the five important points that you need to remember okay now let's understand the concept of multiplication with the help of this little frog they are three groups of frogs in each group there are two frogs to get the total number of frogs we add the number of frogs in all the three groups that is 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equals to 6 there are six frogs in all here we repeatedly added two three times this is called multiplication operation multiplication is repeated addition we can do this multiplication operation in an easier way let's see how there are three groups of frogs two each group has two frogs now three times two is six so there are six frogs in all let us use multiplication symbol to write this statement this is called multiplication sentence it can be read by 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 3 time 2 is 6 or 3 twos are 6 okay let's assume the next example we can take frog as also in this example okay yeah there are five leaves in each leaf there are four frogs sitting in how many frogs are there in all to get the total number of frogs we add the number of frogs in all the five leaves that is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equals to 
twenty. That is five times four is twenty. Using the multiplication sign, we write it as five into four is equals to twenty. So there are how many frogs? Very good, children. Twenty frogs in all. Now let's see the ways to write the multiplication. This is called horizontal multiplication, and this is called vertical multiplication. Are you getting the power of multiplication, children? Yeah, very good. Now, the numbers in a multiplication problems have special names. The numbers we are multiplying are called factors, and the answer is called the product. You can remember this quite easily. I'll tell you how. Okay, when you go to the store, you buy a products, and uh, where all the products are made, in you know, right? Yeah, it is in the factories. That sounds like of a factors, is it not? Yeah. So, we multiplying the factors in the factory part of equation to get our product or the answer. And other great thing in the multiplication is that the order in which you multiply the factors does not matter. We can change the order of the factors, but the product does not change. When you multiply A number by one. The answer is always that the same number. Five times one is five. Ten times one is equal ten. Twenty times one is equal twenty. Hundred times one is very good. Hundred. And since we can switch the places of a factors, we can multiply one times any number, and the answer is always be that that number. I'll teach you another trick. When you multiply by zero, you always get zero. Zero group of something, you will have anything, and if you swap that around, no matter. How many times you add zero to zero, you will always get zero. Zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero is equals to zero. Five into zero is equals to zero. Hope you all enjoy this, the basic of multiplication. As no children, I think you will definitely work this and try it out this magic. Okay, bye bye. We'll see you in the next session with more interesting facts. Bye bye